And here we are. In the top right corner, we have the blue Tyrannus Stealth Bunnies LCC, which apparently stands for Love Command Centers. As we saw last week, he uh, lost, uh, I think, five command centers in one game. Very impressive, and we'll see if he manages to repeat the process in this game. And in the bottom right corner, playing for Air Force Ace of Spades, we have Lightning Purple Tyrant, or should I say L1GHT Ning. <laughs> Very confusing with that one there. So hard to pronounce these names. Anyway, it is a TVT on Fighting Spirit, which of course promises to be a very interesting matchup. LCC has generally got some pretty solid uh, TVT from what I've seen, and I don't actually know how good Lightning's TVT is, so it will be interesting to see how, the, how it plays out. Now, of course, last week we had Stealth Bunnies versus versus courage I believe it was and Stealth Bunnies is of course now in the lead of the in the top of the uh, rankings for the DRX Team League and I believe the second uh, let me just have a look I can actually have a look on the Wikipedia to see the rankings and both players placing their barracks is of course not looking like we're gonna have any BBS or 8 Raxing action very sad to see. Anyway, so the top ranked team at the moment is Stealth Bunnies with three matches won, one lost. And then we have uh, Net Wars Power, but um, they've only won two and lost one. Sun Khan, MSJ, and in fifth place we have Air Force Ace of Spades who have won two matches and lost two matches. So they're actually only uh, one match difference from us though because of the relatively early stage of the season. Uh, as both teams have played four matches, and uh, there's only one. Yeah, as I said, there's only a one match difference between the two, but that is enough to jet push our staff bunnies all the way into first place. And yeah, we'll see if this thing switches things around. Because of course, if Air Force manages to take this game, they will probably get into the top four, assuming that this drama with uh, Netwars powers does not in Netwars power <laughs> doesn't. Um, doesn't cease because it seems like they've been. I think they, they, this week they got entirely walkover game, something like that. So there's some sort of drama going on anyway with the uh, the net was Polish team, which is sad to see. But I have to say that this so far this season has been going significantly better than last season, where we had at this stage of the season I think we only had four or five teams left in, and then we had one team vanish almost immediately. Uh, and another team later on, uh, all the players went as well. So this season is actually doing quite a lot better as basically all of the teams still exist and there's just a bit of drama going on. Both players scouting for their opponents and they have not yet found it. Seems like this is definitely going to go the way of the TVT that is slowly, very slowly. And he's thrown on a few more Marines because of course he's not actually 100% sure. Oh, we got Starport coming out from LCC. He's throwing down two Vultures and a Starport. So he could be going for some Vulture Harass, dropping it into the main perhaps. It's a possibility. Because with these um, Marines here, of course, he can throw down his command center straight away. And uh, presumably he would block off his. Uh, natural and uh, his choke and then if LCC just simply bypasses that, runs in here with the vultures and starts sniping SCVs at this early stage of the game it could be quite effective but it looks like he might be pushing out now with two vultures and a marine just to do some pressure and he is getting his command center down. Oh no, so he is, he is adding on to his starport. I wish I knew more about TVT because I don't actually know what this implies because of the starport. It just confuses me. Ah. Oh, and he's showing off his ghost suit, Mariko. Taking that, is he going to take down another marine? Yes, he does. Another only two marines left, but there is a tank out. Siege is on the way, but that tank alone is probably going to be enough to be able to clean this up. He does take down the SCV on the command center though, but the tank is going to be able to drive them off, and another SCV will be on its way now to repair that second tank coming on from Lightning and LCC. 
is of course producing his dropship so he's pulling all the way back and then he's going to be able to load his vultures into that dropship and come all the way around behind bypassing all the defenses at the natural here and coming into the main and seeing how many SCVs he's going to be able to pick off which as I said at this early stage of the game is very important his own command center is complete and he is throwing down the second factory and his machine shop and the dropship is complete and the barracks has not yet scouted it and I don't know if it will scout it as long as the vultures realize this barracks is here, I hope they don't... Huh. Hopefully he doesn't realize what's going on. He did stop his barracks there, but... And he is pulling his tanks back. Maybe he does know what's going on. And his tanks are coming back. All the way back to the main. I think he does realize that those vultures were coming here to do some dropship harass. That is pretty ghostly if you manage to work that out off that. I know he's just sieging it up. He is, he's going to be sieged up with these tanks out of position and the vultures just going straight past. The tanks are going to be so poorly out of position and I don't think he realizes yet. Still hasn't responded. He has to de-siege these tanks and already two SUVs have gone down. Three SUVs. Four SUVs. Five, six, seven, eight. And one vulture, two vultures coming to defend. There is a tank coming to defend. And the SUVs have been pulled. He could actually snipe one more SUV if he's focusing on it. But it looks like he's just going to continue to take down one more marine. And it looks like he's going to lose this vulture. Very nice harassment there from LCC though. And he even has a wraith in the natural as a follow up to defend it, uh, to uh, continue that. And of course with no anti-air, this is just going to be so annoying to deal with by um, LCC course only 8 damage so they do take a while to kill SCVs but still it is just going to be so annoying to have to deal with that and what are we actually going to see in terms of anti-air so far lightning hasn't built anything to defend that and he is going to go for the armory so he's going to go for the last and he's pulled all his SCVs away from that command center so that wraith is just going to sit there could actually just continue into the main though engineering bay as well that is just so annoying to have to deal with as um, he has to build all that into here just for that one wraith which might be the only wraith that LCC actually produces so LCC is in looking in quite a strong position here, he's already got a 10 to lead supply which at this early stage of the game is not what LCC wants and his academy is on the way as well this marine is still pegging away at that barracks. He might be able to get it burning, but no, it looks like he is going to move the barracks away. And Academy and Armory out as well for LCC. He is on three racks. Both players on three racks, in fact. But this uh, LCC has got two command shops on. Uh, command, uh, machine shops, what am I thinking? Cool. And he is trying to throw down a missile turret. It looks like it will be able to complete, even though the Wraith is pegging away at it. And there's a second missile turret and a third missile turret. That's quite a lot of missile turrets, considering only this one race and is the race going to go down looks like LCC doesn't pull it back so it does go down and we have a little bit of a push here from uh, LCC as he's bringing his engineering bay along it looks like he might be able to he has still got a vulture inside there so he might be able to do a bit of vulture dropping on top of those tanks and he does have quite a few tanks of his own could be enough to actually tip this very strongly into his favor now. And because he's got that floating vision, he might actually be able to put his tanks down within siege range, but these tanks won't have seen it because they don't have a floating body, as this barracks is a bit far off and it is burning down as well. So let's see just how close he's able to get. And of course we'll know when he's close enough because he will siege up and instantly be able to shoot that tank back. And we have another dropship on its way from LCC. As well as he's getting his Vulture upgrade. Oh, his Goliath upgrade and his Vulture upgrade. Now from Lightning we have another racks being thrown, uh, another factory I should say being thrown down. And it looks like he might be able to save this barracks if he sends an SCP to repair and he does do that. Very nice uh, play there. And LCC is taking his third. So he is going to be a base up and he has something of a contain here which is going to be annoying to break. And he's got this, what looks like a drop is going to be loaded up. He actually got three drop trips here. Is he going to go for quite a big drop? And of course, 
Lightning is now patently aware that this here is here and he's got his vultures over here so he is going to be able to see any sort of backdoor attempt and he's going to prevent the third with that spider mine which is annoying to deal with. Oh, these dropships have dropped their stuff back out. Oh, and the vultures are coming across. Of course, LCC has the high ground, but these players, these were not a moved. But LCC does lose his vultures, of course. Now, is he going to be sending an SUV to try and place down another command center? Because he's going to have a little bit of difficulty with that. Interesting. Oh, there's a tank here, down on the low ground, but he does place down two spider mines, and they can't- Oh no, that's easy! Oh, they didn't actually hit that tank, so he could have left it there. And looks like he's not going to be expanding here, and he can't anyway because of the spider mine, which we would have to clear up. But he does have some vultures out here, which are going to be able to provide vision, and potentially do a bit of harassment at this third, perhaps. Although it looks like he is going to be throwing down a supply depot wall. But the vultures are getting in there. Uh, LCC does have some units here which can defend that if he responds. And of course he does know now. Here he comes across with his army. Looks like he is going to be able to respond correctly. He has got two tanks there so he's going to have the advantage. And there is one spider mine up on the high ground there. Two spider mines up on the high ground. And... Is the tank going to get caught up? It? Does he realize? It? Oh he does scan and for the spider mines so it looks like those are going to go down. And the vultures go down. Nice play by LCC there. And that vulture does manage to get away. Quite a few vultures here from uh, Lightning, and he could be able to do some more harassment if he tried, but I mean, with these tanks here, tanks here, it's just going to be annoying to deal with. And we have another dropship. How many dropships have we got? We have four dropships, and it looks like these two. One tank, two vultures. Looks like they are going to get loaded up with units for some sort of drop press. And he has a two ports. He's going for some sort of two port play. Late two port play. And is he going to load up these dropships or not? He does have some units which he could load into it. He does have these here. And his science facility is on the way. A second armory and a fifth factory but he's still not producing out of these two starports is he in fact going to go for some large drop rate? uh... wraith player it would be really effective here if he does manage to come across and spy these dropships but no he moves just at the wrong time he should have kept going all the way to the end not that of course he would realize that there's anything there these two dropships still empty but could easily get loaded up at any time there's quite a lot of missile turrets on this side of his base, but on this side there's almost nothing. And he is coming in with a drop, and he looks like he's going to drop on top of the supply depots. Is he going to drop? There we go. Drop coming down. One vulture drop, two vultures drop. All the vultures are dropped. Already taking down two SCVs, and he's got a siege mode up. I'm going to go for the SCVs, but there's a wraith there, and that one wraith might be... That would add two wraiths there, and that would definitely clean up that drop. And the tank does go down, so that is cleaned up quite well. That's command center coming out from uh, lightning. Good response there from lightning, and uh, although of course he did lose two or three SCVs, which is somewhat important. We have another wraith out here, but there's three wraiths here from uh, lightning. <laughs> I just hear a bunker loading up. No, it would have been the dropship. What am I thinking? Dropship. Oh, snap. This looks like a bigger drop. And he's bringing his dropships back as well. Look like he's going to go for some sort of doom drop. I don't know where he's going to be able to drop on. Maybe if he just drops on top of his forces. He does have these rays here, which you have to watch out for, though, because they will take down dropships just so fast with that um, missile attack. And he is loaded up pretty effectively. Bringing his forces over here as well so he can do some sort of elevator play. There are two missile turrets here, but the wraiths are way out of position for this defending this. And he is coming across with a drop. Looks like he is going to be able to get through and the missile turrets aren't going to see him if he... No, he does not come through. He pulls back. Decided against it. And I think he's found the wraiths. 
Once he's found the raids, he knows he's going to be safe. And the command center is coming across, but he's going to have a little bit of difficulty trying to land there with that spider mine blocking. And we have quite a lot of units still coming up here. Oh, the vulture's coming across looking to try to do some harassment here. And he doesn't actually have very effective harassment there at all. Unfortunately for him, that was almost... I don't think he killed a single unit. He did manage to get this tank quite low in health. But he lost a lot of vultures for that. And it looks like he's going to be losing his wraith as well. He's going to have to be really careful with this here. As his raids were quite an investment. Well, he does take down the spider mine so he can land his command center at last. And the dropships are coming across though. Before his tanks can get into position, it looks like that and he's coming across with vultures on the ground as well. Here come the dropships. Is he gonna land them on top? Careful of the race though, because the race could be exactly what he doesn't want. And if he sieges up these tanks, both players sieging up at the same time. And all the vultures going down from lightning. And it looks like RCC is gonna be able to take this the Razor Cloak, but he has got two Goliaths coming across here. A lot of SUVs pulled, he can't be careful. All of the SUVs going down here. So many SUVs to that one siege mode attack and he does deny this third completely here. LCC with a ghost to drop and G from lightning.